Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Uh, our rivals again getting things done. N'Golo Kante yesterday signing for Chelsea. Easy as you like. Bang, bang, bang. A player that a lot of people thought, nah, he won't move, he may move, blah, blah. Gone. Chelsea put the offer in, straight over. Compare that to our bid for Vardy... How long it went on for the the it, there's just no comparison in how those teams seem to get their transfer business done and in how Arsenal seem to get our transfer business done. It just seems as I keep saying that we just differ around, whereas they are very decisive in what they do. Players that people think nah he's not going anywhere. And Golo Kante at Chelsea, no Champions League football at Chelsea. We've got Champions League football. We can't get Vardy. It says something for me. It's saying something about Arsenal at the moment. There's something wrong. I, I don't know. It, it just seems to me like there's something wrong. Like we, ha we don't have in our mind what the targets are and then just go out there and get them. Whether they're mega targets or whether they're names under the radar. I was, I was looking at Borussia Dortmund yesterday. Some of the business they've done. Brilliant. No big names, but a lot of guys that are like real stars in the making. And they've just gone out and done it and acted decisively. And I don't see that at the moment from Arsenal. It just seems a real, real muddle. And uh, as I said, N'Golo Kante across the line. Uh, Higuain, I, you know what? I was out last night and I said to... Um, people kept coming up to me. I was uh, over there in Shoreditch and loads of people kept coming up to me and saying to me, Robbie, what's the news on Higuain? What's the news? I said, you know what? I'm not even going to mention Higuain today on the show. I'm just tired of Higuain. All the Higuain talk this weekend. But I am going to at the moment because I did do a poll yesterday where I said, do you think we should go all out, whatever the cost? If it's 75 million plus, should we still spend that sort of money and sign Gonzalo Higuain? 72% of you said, yes, we should. 28% of you said, no, too much money. Um, so, again, that's a resounding amount of people who were like, you know what, just go and get it done. We don't care if it's 75 million plus. We've got the money, do it. Um, let's wait to see what happens on that one. Interest apparently today has turned back to Alexander Lacazette. That's being reported by the Telegraph um, newspaper today that Arsenal are going to submit a new £40 million bid this week to try and get... Um, Alexander Lacazette to the club. The reports that apparently are coming out of France. Uh, again, it just seems a muddle, this one. Um, listen, isn't it? These sort of deals are not easy to get over the line. I know that. But as I said, look at the decisiveness with Chelsea on the Kante deal and with us on Lacazette. We, we seem to not know. It's, it's almost like we're sitting there go, do we go for Lacazette? Should we go for Higuain? Should we? But, and then we'll end up losing targets it was similar really to how we lost Higuain in the first place if you remember rightly if you rewind back we were going after I said I weren't going to mention Higuain <laughs> but we were going after Higuain at the time switched to going after um Luis Suarez and by the time that we messed that up and came back for Higuain he'd already signed for Napoli and the rest is history both of them have gone on to have great goal scoring records and we have just not scored enough goals but <laughs> Uh, rumours today about Lauren Koscielny stalling on a brand new deal with Arsenal. He's only got one year left on his current deal, which is a bit worrying. Uh, 30 years of age now, of course, uh, Lauren Koscielny, our best centre-back by a country mile at the club. Uh, it's been reported in the papers today that he's stalling, I think it's a Daily Express, that he's stalling on renewing his contract, probably after a bit more money. But the worrying thing is that they're saying that Bayern Munich are hovering. Bayern Munich uh, want to bring in a centre-back. They've lost Mehdi Benatia, another guy who I reckon we should have signed. But benatia has gone back to um, Italy. He's going to be playing this time for Juventus. And that they want to bring in Koscielny. Now, again, I, I, not a lot of legs on this story for me. A lot of speculation in it. No real evidence. Um... I don't think Lauren Koscielny, at the age of 30, is going to want to go and play for Bayern Munich and sit on the bench, because he would. I mean, in front of him are probably the two best centre-backs in the world, in Mats Hummels, and for me, the best centre-back in the world, um, Jerome Boateng. 
Uh, now, to get in front of those two will be really difficult, which basically means he's going to go, he'd go over there for a little bit extra money, possibly, and sit on the bench. I really don't think there's hardly any legs to this story at all, but he does only have one year left on his contract, and when a player only has a year left, it's very, very dangerous. So, let's hope Arsenal can get him. Why have they let it run down to one year left? I, I don't understand this, but let's hope they get this uh, sorted out. Um, also, uh, Marcelo Brozovic. Now, Marcelo Brozovic has been linked with the Arsenal so many times. The last January transfer window is getting linked heavily. You may have seen him playing in the Euros, um, played very well for Croatia. Uh, he's a midfielder, attacking midfielder, good player this guy, 23 years of age and into Milan uh, are looking to sell him. They want to get him off the books because they're trying to free up money. La, Gaz La Gazzetta della Sport claimed that Arsenal are once again interested in trying to sign him. Uh, another midfielder that we're apparently interested in signing, the rumours have been flying around but it's, it's still out there, is Musa Sissoko from Newcastle. Newcastle have been uh, putting it out there. Um, Rafa Benitez said that, listen, I'm hoping that he's going to stay. Um, we want him to stay at the club. We don't want to sell him. However, I think Sissoko, especially after his impressive performances in the Euros, will want to move on. Uh, Arsenal, interested in him. Quite a lot of clubs, actually. Liverpool, Everton... Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, El Confidential, yet again saying that they feel that um, he uh, will be on the move to one of those clubs. We're going to have to wait and see which one it is. Um, and Thierry Henry. Now, listen, the whole Thierry Henry thing, as I've been saying, for me, has been an absolute mess. bit more detail on it um, that's come out today, which, you know what? It would have been a lot more helpful if this detail would have come out earlier on in the week. Um now, Thierry Henry saying that, listen, I've got no hard feelings against the club. Um, I still would love to be a manager at Arsenal one day. And he also says, um, quite interestingly, that the decision was made a few months ago, um, you know, about this. It's not like a thing that they've just broken now. It was uh, made, made a few months ago that um, he would not uh, stay on, you know, on, on a part-time basis. And that he accepted that decision and that this news, according to Thierry Henry's, very weirdly just sort of surfaced now. Now, listen, newspapers at the moment, they love a negative story about Arsenal. This is why, for me, again, let's get some business done. Because if you look at some of the... Like the Koscielny thing today, it's very mischievous, but they know it will just wind Arsenal fans up. And newspapers, that's great, because you read the story. So... Come on, Arsenal, let's get some business done. I mean, for Pete's sake, I, I really don't know what's going on. Uh, let's get into some of your comments. <laughs> I love this one here from Navron Germain, and he probably thinks I wouldn't read this one out, but I am going to read this one out because it is, I have to admit, it is very funny, right? And he says, Welcome to Arsenal Fan TV, the show that keeps you up to date with things that will never happen. He said that's going to be the new intro. <laughs> That's brilliant, Navron. That's brilliant. Listen, hold on. Wait a minute. Who told you about Granite Shaka, right? And I remember when I was mentioning that Granite Shaka thing right at the start of uh, um, when we started doing the transfer dailies, I had people saying to me, no, he's not signing. He's going to Bayern. So, uh, you know, I've got one. <laughs> I told you about Asano, didn't I? <laughs> right? Uh, Tremaine Brown says, I would have preferred um, Wenger if he, I would prefer if Wenger paid 50 million for Lacazette rather than 78 million for Higuain. Yeah, interesting. Um, Welshy King says, listen, we should go and get Higuain before, we should have got Higuain before he went to Napoli. Just like we should have got Griezmann before he went to Atletico Madrid. We are the majority of the time late to the party. I couldn't agree more with that gentleman he's 100 percent spot on there um abdekubi says i'd rather waste 75 million on a young lukaku or a bamiyang than on higuain well the problem is is lukaku i don't think is worth anywhere near 75 million i think about 50 million would be a great deal for for somebody like a lukaku and a bamiyang you're not going to get him he's just not moving a bamiyang i think He's already said if he's moving, it's going to be probably Real Madrid or Barcelona. I can't see him. Mind you, money talks, doesn't it? Money really does talk. 
uh, and we're just not talking with it at the moment. Um, listen, don't forget to check out, go and check out the video that we did on the Pokemon Go video. Yes, we joined the craze, but with a twist, we used it to try and get some players for Arsenal. You've got to watch that video. It's really, really funny. Got the Santa Cazola, um interview as well. If you haven't already watched it, make sure you check that out. And also get over there and subscribe to my brand new channel, Man Like Robbie. I've also got a program start, starting on there called Transfer X, where I have a look at all the transfers um, in the Premier League. So make sure you take a look at that show. Thanks for watching AFTV Transfer Daily. We'll be back around about the same time tomorrow. Tell our Santi, does he know if, uh, if any more strikers are coming in? That's what everybody's asking. <laughs> a lot of people ask me that, but uh, you, you know, uh, the boss uh, know that. Uh, mm. I think uh, 